that was a moment in the mid '90s when I was, um, you know, I was also working for Walt Disney Imagineering, designing theme park uh, educational theme park attractions, and I couldn't be out at work in the mid '90s at Disney. And uh, so we formed a little organization um, that was like the first queer union at Disney in the mid. Okay. But we were under the radar and we marched in the parade um, many years ago. What is it now? 20 years ago. 20 years ago now. And this year for Gay Pride, Disney is putting out a huge float that's like sponsored by the company. So a lot of changes. A lot of changes. A lot. In 20 of, years. A lot of shifts that you're seeing yeah, and yeah. acceptance. Yeah. Um, and so talking about the um, the parade, you're going to be in the parade, or your float's going to be in the yes. parade. Can you talk about that a little yes, bit? Yes, the us? lavender effect. We've partnered with Christopher Street West, which puts on LA Pride every year, and this is their 45th anniversary. Okay. So, all these pioneers are going to be on the float and connect with the audience that they that. The audience that some of them don't know they even exist. And what do you mean so, by that? Well, the context have changed. You know, um, it, with our liberation, we're we're losing sight of why we had to fight so hard oh, okay. to get where we're at now. Okay, like with everything, once you get it. Then you forget what you had to go through to get it, or those next generations don't understand that. But that's what you're trying to preserve to actually hold on to. Like this is what we, this is the way that was, and also have that appreciation to be able to move forward, right? Yeah. And to keep that shift going and to keep yeah. that change happening. Yeah, when I was um, a boy studying for my bar mitzvah. Um, my parents told me that I need to know the Holocaust, and I thought, why? Well, Passing I, on the history. Yeah. And that's what you're doing with the lavender. Right. So the, the, the point is that we have to teach our gen future generations. Many of us don't have family units that are structured to pass on that baton of We've wisdom and culture. We've kind of lost that lately. Right. I mean, that's kind of sad for all of us. Let's right. Let's have that back. So, yeah. I, we agree a hundred percent and but that's and what you're doing with the lavender effect you're trying to build that community that family back that those getting the information so yeah, you can share build that sense of family I, community is mis misused you know community is such a nebulous term and we have so many sub communities of our community because of our diversity yeah you know if I've learned anything over the last six years of doing this research is that um, you cannot tell history from one perspective, right? Especially no, because it's very skewed. It'll yeah. be very skewed because people in that particular thing think that they're 100% right, but if you look at all of it, there's truth in everything. There's truth in everything. That much bigger viewpoint and a much more appreciate, much, um, you have such a, a, a better appreciation and understanding if you can look at all sides, because yep. it's never one side on anything. Never one side. We're not. We're, we're not all the same. Right. We're all different, right. but that actually is what that whole rainbow and the beauty and all the colors. Yeah, and and so we want to empower the lavender effect. Wants to empower those communities to tell their own stories, right? Um, in 2008, I worked with a, a bunch of young activists in an organization called Roots of Equality. And this was a brilliant young group of 20-somethings that wanted to tell history. And I mentored them through the exhibit design process. And I, I transformed through the process. Well, we all do, don't we, right. when we share? When we share. And, and then when you're we... able to you know, share with me, right. and I share with you, right. then we actually have Right. A... So. Yeah. have a better way of being. And we're sharing today. Yeah. So and we're sharing with you at watchhollywood.tv and we would like for you to share with us because we want your your information, your history, your questions because it can only empower us all the more that we communicate. Yeah. And that's really what you're doing. You're communicating and sharing other people's communication. Yeah, uh, just opening up. Uh, you know, there was, um, we had the movie Making Love. We had an event where we featured this movie 
and it was the f one of the first movies that ever uh, told the public or forecast uh, that we could fall in love, that gay people could fall in love, because up to that point we were just villainized. So Making Love was a movie that kind of changed the way uh, gays are portrayed. Because uh, gay people have feelings. <laughs> yeah. Right? Just a bit. <laughs> They're still just people. We are flesh and blood. We are flesh and blood. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Finish telling me about that uh, movie. Sorry. So, so uh, anyway, people sent hundreds of letters to the filmmakers. And they were saying things like, you changed my life. I didn't know that there were other people like me out there. Right? The communication, because we were villainized, the communication lines severed. were severed. That's the key. It's communication, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's one person to another person, but it's another, it is all that, it's that ripple effect. Yeah. And I'm really fascinated and I'm grateful that you're doing the Lavender Effect because you're able to share with people the history and the background and, and, and really connect people. Because when you communicate and have all that, you really are able to connect with people. And, and we're really hoping that we're connecting with you at WatchHollywood.tv. We are uh, wanting to reach out to you and we want you to reach back out to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget about our cool t-shirts and our DVD giveaways. And uh, please call in and uh, check us out on Twitter. And, and um, uh, Andy, I want to thank you so much. My pleasure. For coming today and allowing us to share your information with other people about what you're doing and please check out say your website again the lavender effect.org that's the lavender with an e effect.org thanks so much thank you thank really appreciate it